The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rohn is coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently, U.S. equity futures pointed to the upside. The Dow's up 166. S&P's up 65. NASDAQ, I'm sorry, NASDAQ's up 65. The S&P's up 18. Russell 2000's up 10 points. You've got uh, gold trading out at 1881. Silver trade at 2396. Light sweet crude trade at 9162. That's back a dollar and change out there. The 30-year treasury printed at 152. Even, Stephen, what does all this mean? Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to go take a look at the short-term time frame charts. And we're going to switch over and take a look at the 30-minute charts just to give you the play-by-play -play as to what's going on, what to expect as we come into the cash market open. And what we should expect there is we should see a pullback. Now, when we're looking at our 30-minute time frame charts, the NQ has confirmed a TD9 count top. And as long as now, the cool thing here is if between 9 and 9.30, price not trade above 14,107.50, mark that down on your pad of paper. If you see a close above 14,107.50 during the day out there, that's going to tell you that, that that pattern has failed and you should expect price to continue to move higher. Now, we are only in bar number, we've only completed bar number eight in the ES and the uh, Russell 2000. Bar number nine will complete as we get to the 930 session out here. So I don't know. It looks like it looks to me like they'll still complete their nine count tops out there. But the levels to be watching are going to be the oscillator and chain zone. So the NQ has already got its TD nine count top in. So the first level of support for it is also has a roads momentum indicator top. Now, why is that important? Well, if you take a look at the bottom that formed out here is Rose Mentum Indicator Bottom yesterday that led to this big rally that we're in. So you want to pay attention to this. So the first level of support is 14006 or thereabouts. That's that green oscillator and change lines changes a tad. But if you see a close below that, then the signal is price should pull back to the next level of support. The next level of support is 13875. Below that, 13811. And then below that, it's going to be the 13776 area. As we look at now, what happens if price holds here? Well, if price holds a green oscillator and change line, it gives you a neutral signal because that's a key level of support that if held uh, is still bullish out here. So you'd have a bullish signal, a bearish signal, and that's what takes Stevie to the neutral zone out here. In the case of the ES Mini, its levels to be watching are going to be 4286 to the downside. You're likely only going to get down there if the NQ gets below that green oscillator and change line. For the Dow, that first level of support right now, oh, I don't have it in the Dow, it's the Russell 2000, would be 1998. Folks, have a fantastic Friday. Stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien with the Morning Market Kickoff is up next. And I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend, folks.